Greetings and salutations, the educated. I'm getting blinded by the sun. I left my sunglasses in the car. Welcome to K West. Welcome to the wild, wild west, ladies and gents. Today I am in a place in Bristol called Knoll West. See that corner just over there. We're just approaching Broadbury Road Police Station. This police station is quite notorious for having shitty police officers. So I'm going to anticipate probably some uh, some issues with these guys. But I was sat at home. I was at home earlier. And I posted a couple of videos, and uh, one of the subscribers mentioned. Um, he asked me when I was going to Broadbury Road and it made me come out now like literally I got up and came out because because uh, as he wrote as I read that comment I was literally I mean and I mean literally as I read that comment I was thinking to myself like I should go to Broadbury Road because it's not too far away from a house on the ring road and it's one of them stations where this is quite a big station as well compared to the others. I mean, when you consider that it's not a, uh, a headquarters. Also as well, guys, like I, I'm having serious problems with this head cam charging, right? It just doesn't charge when I leave it to charge overnight. I don't know what I'm, whether it's something I'm doing or not. So I've got it plugged in with a little bit of juice in my power pack, but we may be, we may be switching over to this camera at some point because uh, this, the battery might run out. Anyway, here we are at Broadbury Road Police Station. I, I, I haven't posted the video yet of um, when I went to the traffic office police station uh, the other day, but they had along all these fencing, along, or literally along all the fencing, they had like that green mesh, that green privacy screen stuff that you, that you can put on. So obviously, Kind of like generally the police know that if they want privacy they need to be creating it themselves which boggles me why uh look at those two cars parked on wl lines i bet you they're police cars police staff cars or like police personal cars but they shouldn't be parked on them double yellows like that anyway right <clears throat> Like this whole station, you could only get to it on two sides because around the other side you've got residential houses, like the cells here and stuff back onto gardens, I believe, if I believe correctly. But, but you know, I might be wrong. But we'll take you in to have a look at the police car as soon as the gate is open. Feel free to um, take the regs of... Uh, these marked police cars I'm gonna say though like I, I, in fact actually whilst I um, whilst I think about it I noticed recently that I, I, I mean I've got a few new subscribers recently and I noticed that some of them are between the age range of 17 but they're, basically they're under 18 right so I need to be a little bit more um, conscious of what's being said in my audits and I, I'm going to say, obviously, well, it's obvious to those of you that know, but those of you that don't know, please don't construe my videos for legal advice or any kind of call to action or, or anything like that, because it's not that. It is literally just me bringing you my interactions with police officers as and when they happen. And um, for that reason, I would hate for anybody to um, take anything that I say as advice and then potentially get themselves into sticky situations. I would hate that. So please, please, please don't take anything that I say in, in my videos as, as any kind of advice or, or call to arms or anything like that. It's absolutely not that. Okay. I just have to get that in there. Look, the, what, to get that, they need to get that fixed. Well, not that it really matters that a great deal. But. Let's 
security alert. Ensure gates are closed behind you. I can't see it. Oh, they've got a fuel pump over there, look. See it? Diesel pump. I can't see it being very long before a vehicle comes out of here on, on blue lights. Lots goes on in here, <laughs> up this, uh, this neck of the woods. Or as my brother would say, this neck end. <laughs> I shouldn't make private jokes when you guys don't really know what I'm about. But I do that. I like to do that. So yeah, I'm gonna I bloody gotta stop smoking man. One day I'm vaping, one day I'm smoking. It's bad. But I need to try and uh, get off the cigarettes completely. Designated alcohol consumption in public places. <laughs> That's funny. What's that? Knife amnesty bin. Is there anything in it? Don't sound like it. Well, I don't know what I expected to hear when I kicked the knife bin. <laughs> but I expected to hear something. I did. When I drove past this place on my way on my first way up, on my way up first, there was quite a fair amount of activity going on here, and I see I see lots of police in unmarked cars as well. But there is a lot of crime up here. That was, you see, that's police, and that was police in that Ford Cougar. At least I think it would at least it looked like police. How do I get into this car park then? Because this is where the majority of the police vehicles are. And that's where I want to be. That is where I want to be. Let me take a look. This is what I did. I came here with a feeling in my stomach that was like, ah, oh, this could potentially go a little bit ski with. But it, it doesn't seem like it has, which is good. Ugh. Sorry about that guys, I had a big bumblebee try and go in my ear. <laughs> so I made a strange noise. Did you see that? <laughs> he went and tried to go in my ear. <laughs> what that lady was doing really was taking a lick out of me because she seen me jump. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go down down here, then I'm gonna go back up, back down, back up, back down, and then that's gonna be me for the day. I've got to go and do some more statue shaving, I'm calling it. Statue shaving. I can't remember what, I'm supposed to buy something. My friend was like, yeah, well, when you come down, can you go past here and get that? And I'm, I can't remember what it was, or he's gonna laugh at me because I've bloody, I, I got a sieve memory particular things which is strange because if I like start studying something or I start learning something I will retain the info but if you tell me something I, I it's very very rare that I'll actually retain it <laughs> and um, I'm not really sure why that is because I would have thought either I've got a good memory or I don't oh no look we're gonna miss them going in Couple of them there, look. Let's watch them as they go in. That's a quiet car. Is it electric? I didn't think that was electric. There we are, a little view inside the gate. I'm gonna ask them if they're gonna pick up them face masks and and uh, gloves. If they. Um, there's an evidence bag down there as well. That it is dirty, this police station. But I can't get in there to clean it. 
Oh look, this guy's coming out. I'm gonna ask him what this mess is. Excuse me there, boss man. Yeah, so I was just wondering, basically, I noticed like lots of blue gloves and evidence bags on the floor. Yeah. It's a bit messy. Is, is anyone going to pick them up or are they just going to stay there till they blow somewhere else? Are they, um, um... Well, there's an evidence bag just over here, if you look. Just down there, there's one. Yeah, and then like these blue gloves, because the blue gloves are obviously your guys, aren't you? Isn't it? So you guys have been... Is there something yeah. in that as well, or is it empty? No, yeah, good, yeah. okay. Yeah, and the blue gloves, obviously, that's police officers, isn't it? Yeah. Um, that's, that's, not, that's not great, really, that they do that. Thank you for picking it up, though. I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, that'd be good, mate. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Oh, there's lots of... Where, what, you all been on one job, have you? Yeah. All been on a single job together. Did you nearly crash my car then? Is it? You bought it, did you? No, I oh, oh, no, I did. I bought it. <laughs> Please don't chuck your blue gloves on the ground, sir. Thank you. Yeah, so that officer was quite nice. He picked it up, said that he would get onto the handy person. Whether he does or not is a different story. The other guy nearly crashed the police car. These guys definitely have had the memo. You look at them, like... Ah, uh, look at that other one putting it in the bin. It's cool. It's a face mask down there as well, mate, look. Yeah, dirty police yard. Obviously, there's only police in there because it's just that's where the emergency vehicles go in and out. But should have little snack wrappers over the floor and stuff like that, which which shouldn't be happening, to be fair. But fair play, props to him for picking it up there. Ah, uh, so you did nearly crash. You nearly crashed a police car on camera, mate. <laughs> Literally. <coughs> don't put that mask on the floor, please, constable. There's a bin over there. I was just saying, don't put that mask on the floor like that one. And I was just pointing out the bin over there by the door. Thank you. You could, Actually, you might as well grab that one and put that one in the bin whilst, whilst you're about. Yeah, thank you, mate. Cheers. <laughs> they're, they're all just doing what I say. It's funny. So I don't know if he's going to be um, picking up those, those blue gloves. And another face mask on the floor as well. Squeaky gate, squeaky gate. He's struggling to reverse park that. It seems like these guys all went out on a job as I was pulling up because it's pretty sure I recognize these guys from when they went past initially. But. <laughs> that, that guy can't, can't drive. <laughs> he literally can't drive. He nearly crashed, nearly pulled back too far so he couldn't get into the, um, into the boot. Excuse me, constable, what's your shoulder number? The gentleman who just went in there, what's his shoulder number? Are you, sorry, I'm asking, I'm asking you a question. The gentleman who just walked in there, do, we want, uh, what's his shoulder number, please? You do, could you go and get asking for it, please? It's all right. That's cool. I'll go in.
The reason I'm asking for his shoulder number is because as he walked in, he said, oh, look at him, he's just sad and lonely. And I'm not having, I'm not having insults. I am absolutely not having insults. So we're going to find out who he is. Hello? Hi. Hiya, ma'am. There are two police officers have just come through that door back there. Yeah. I need the second one in shoulder number, please. He refused to give it to me outside. Okay. What do you look like? uh, brown hair, quite tall. Um, that's pretty much They both have brown hair. Uh, yeah, he called me sad and lonely, which is why I'm asking for his shoulder number so I can make a complaint. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Nice lady. <laughs> she just said uh, there's a gentleman in the front office who's been insulted by a police officer. <laughs> so she takes it that way. Uh, I, don't, I, I don't need to give my name. Sorry, did you just say that you did hear the comment? Okay, sorry. Okay, yeah, no worries. No worries. Yeah, there was two of them. There was, there was actually four of them out, of the, out there. Um, one, I mean, I could show you the cars they came out of if you wanted. To. There was four of them. Do you know, I'll tell you what, there were four police officers out there. Can I have all four numbers, please? Thank you. I, I take names also, thank you very much. That's all right. Yeah. Thank you. Um, do you know which two of these are partners partnered up today? Yeah, please, because that would let me know which two it would. That would help me narrow it down. It seems a shame that, um, <clears throat> quite obviously, these guys have read the memo, and uh, it, it, like that doesn't give them an excuse just to start throwing insults around. It's not fair that they can just insult members of the public because they don't like what we're doing. If I just insulted a police officer because I didn't like what he was doing, I mean, you know what would happen. I'm so sick of these guys thinking they could just do what they want. <laughs> To just treat people however they want without any repercussions. Like, who the hell does he think he is insulting me? It's not nice, it's not fair, it's not what he should be doing. I, st I don't know if you can hear me, but can I get their sergeant's number as well? Yeah, Thank you.
No, it's okay. You don't have to apologise. Thank you so much for your help. That's all right. So that's the sergeant there. Yeah. Sorry, I've got compliments there. Um, that was your choice that's on the radio, yeah. and these are the numbers that he's given me. Mm -hmm. um, those three were still being cruised. That officer is with that officer, but I don't know if they were involved. Because Wait, which which one, sorry? That officer yeah. is crewed up with that officer, but I don't, he didn't actually right. give me their number, but I don't know if they were involved. Before. So this officer, 23031, mm -hmm. wouldn't give their name? Okay. So no, no, I'm, I'm asking, sorry, sorry, I was asking. I don't, I don't, I don't know oh. who was who. Um, um, Okay, um, the only information I can give you is one of them was a black guy, wasn't him. Right. One of them nearly crashed into the ward, it wasn't him. So I, I know that's, that's unhelpful. It's fine, I'll, um, I'll just complain yeah. about all four of them, yeah, so all five of them. Honest, these officers, I don't actually know, I know this one to look at, but I don't yeah. actually know who the others are. Yeah, well I'm assuming it wasn't this person, because that looks like an African name. Okay. Um, that is maybe that's bad of me. I shouldn't have seen that, but that's fine. I'll take all of okay. those and um, and I, I will I will direct my complaint. Sure uh, yeah, I just I all all I could tell you was he was the second person through the door. Okay, I'm really yeah. no. Is there no CCTV? Not coming in the back there now. Uh, okay. All right. That's no worries. That that's enough right. for me. Um, thank you very much yeah. for your help. You you've been very nice. Thank you. Yeah, Cheers. Okay, all right. Bye now. Oh, dropped in my pen. No, guys, some of you might think I was a little bit, I took that a little bit too seriously, but I don't, I like being insulted by police officers. Like, it's, that's not nice. It's not fair. I couldn't insult them. So why is it that they could go around insulting me just because they were annoyed because I asked them to pick up the rubbish on the ground? No, sir. No, sir. Is it one of these ones there? one of these ones. Is that shoulder number on there, 4083 you got there? No. Oh. Yeah, no, I was just trying to find out the name of one of the officers that went in there just now because he's insulted me for no reason. So I wanted to find out his name because he complained. But I just, I went in and the lady gave me a list of, she gave me five, five police officers, but there was only four out here. So I was just trying to, trying to check basically. Right. But, uh, no. no, it's not me. I'm afraid the, um, yeah. that, those officers are the team before us. Oh, they've gone off duty. Oh, so Most they'll be. Probably. Oh, so they'll be about to go home then. They've already gone. Yeah. No, they haven't, because it's just five minutes ago they just come in. Literally, oh, I've just come out of reception. Yeah. Oh, okay. So well, like they literally may have been off late, so, yeah. five minutes ago. Okay, well I'll, I'll just wait for him then and ask him what his name is. <laughs> Thank you. Nah, do you know, change my mind about that. I'm not going to stand out and wait for him when he's, when he's off work. I don't want them to think that, um, well, not think, I don't want them to suggest that I'm harassing. And I know that could potentially be considered harassing. Um, I know that I would find it harassing if somebody was waiting outside my workplace for me. So the new me is not in the market to um, be doing things purposely to antagonise police. That's not what I'm going to do. Don't get me wrong, if um, one of them tries to violate me, or if any of them try to violate me, I will 100% give them both arrows, proverbially, proverbially, however you say that word. It's a proverb. <laughs> it's biblical. So, uh, I don't know. Anyway, um, five past three and I have to go and drive through the center of town so I'm gonna go and calm down a little before I attempt to do that but thanks for uh, watching my channel watching my video um, also thank you to uh, like 5,000 extra subscribers I've had over the last week and a half or two. I'm grateful for you guys. 
you give me um, what's the word? Well, you give me that you give me that desire to go out there and keep holding these guys to account because they give me a lot of shit or they gave me a lot of a lot of shit, and I'm certain they thank you. I'm certain that they would uh, will attempt to um, to breach my rights again and potentially put some restrictions on me. I anticipate it, uh, although I'm ready for it this time. But anyway, guys, uh, I expected a confrontation and I just got insulted. Uh, I'll tell you what, actually. So, um, down at the, I'll give you the names of these guys. I don't know if you want to make complaints, but if you want it, we've got four eight, uh, sorry, four zero eight three Openshaw, who was partnered up with two zero three one. I don't remember seeing five of them out there though. Uh, Nineteen thirteen Davies, two zero six three Ngundu, and one three eight three Sims. Their sergeant is one zero one five Sergeant Thatcher. So if you did want to uh, make a complaint, and uh, obviously that's not me asking, those are the details that you will need. But yeah, man, I like, I know that I'm not often received in, in the best possible way by these guys, but I don't deserve to be called sad and lonely, was it? Or pathetic and lonely, something along those lines. Um, that is not something I expect to be called by a policeman because let's face it, if I called them a name, I mean, look what happened when I did call them a name. As I, I've, actually, I'm not going to rant on for ages, right? but I was thinking about this the other day, yeah, after I went to Concord House on, uh, on that, in that nighttime video that's up on my channel, right? They started talking to me about how I was disrespectful to Kevin, PC Kevin Flay. Now, you guys, I'm afraid you can't see that video because uh, I took the video down um, when I was appealing my community protection notice and uh, I reinstalled my computer when I when it was getting close to the time where I was going to be able to make videos again and I lost bits of the video I mean I do have some of it I do have some of it but you will struggle to get any kind of context from it which is why I haven't posted it but I don't know, I guess if enough of you want to see it, then I put it up. But um, basically, what I was saying is, is the way they was talking to me about Kevin and, oh, you disrespected Kevin and this, that and the other, it just makes me know that like, the whole, that whole CPN was because I told Kevin, or because I asked Kevin, because I said to Kevin, I bet you beat your wife. Because he was being horrible to me, right? He was illegally PNC checking my car. He was just being a tyrant. An absolute pig, and I don't mean I don't mean a pig as in a policeman. I mean he was being a pig of a human, and he was trying to violate me. So I asked him if he beat his wife with that kind of aggression, and um, that is what I believe gave me my community protection notice. It was absolutely nothing to do with anything else. I mean the amount of times I've been told since then that I'm okay to court, record and I'm allowed to do this and I'm allowed to do that. And let's face it, what, I haven't done anything differently. Nothing. So that just proves it for me. Anyway, rant over. Here we are, Melvin. This is Melvin Square. I wouldn't have been welcome up here a few years ago. <laughs> but they seem to be a lot more inclusive this side of Bristol these days. Uh, yeah, so that's me guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I would love to see those 55% of you who are watching that are not subscribed, subscribe. But if not, it's cool. Thanks for watching anyway. Drop a like, that would be nice. And a hello mate, alright? Are you going to share your sweets with me or no? What? No? What do you mean no? <laughs> no I'm a, yeah. I, I, can I have one actually? Yeah, you will give one. Right. Oh, that's two. You're a good lad you are. I hope Santa brings you something very, very, very nice. <laughs> Cheers, man. <laughs> Sorry, Mum. <laughs> you gave me sweetie. <laughs> right then, guys. Um, peace.